My name is Vana Kaczynska, and my title is Wildlife Biologist with the Fish and Wildlife Service. Oh, there's bats everywhere. There's a bat flying right above us. Why do I like bats? That is a loaded question. I think it's because they're really mysterious. And there's just, I really like challenges, and they're so challenging to study. We know it's an eastern red bat because of the color, so she's red. Bats play a really important role in the ecosystem, providing a lot of uh, pest management. They eat tons of um, pest insects, and also just insects in general. These are one of my favorite bats, though. They're so cool, they're so feisty. A lot of people who have never seen a bat think of bats as ugly and scary, but a lot of the events that we lead, the kids who have not been told that yet show up and they think bats are the most adorable thing ever. That face looks just like Chewbacca's. This all started in 2017 with, with an educational survey. We only caught one bat that whole night and it was uh, an endangered Indiana bat, female. And that was the first record of an endangered bat in, at Shaw. Since Fish and Wildlife Service already works with Shaw on other partnerships, we decided it would be a good idea to collaborate with Shaw and try to help identify and protect the area of Shaw that these bats might be using. 45 grams, the other one was way lighter. So this is a big bat. The only bat that we caught in 2017 was recaptured in 2019. Oh, it has a clip on it. It's yeah. Abandoned. And was the bat that led us to that tree. Um, so, I mean, it was just kind of a, an amazing story. You got to see a bat haircut. What we wanted to know was how big of a maternity colony and how big is the population at Shaw. And by conducting an emergence survey and counting the bats as they're coming out of the tree, what we found was that there was um, about 175 or maybe more over 200 bats. So that is a very big colony um, in Missouri. Um, it's one of the biggest. Oh, we got a pregnant female Indiana bat. In many ways, Shaw is sort of this gem that's left in St. Louis. And, and there are others too, but Shaw is definitely a big one where there's still prairies and different types of habitats that are really important to bats. Shaw does prescribed burns on the property, and it turned out that through those prescribed burns, they created really nice habitat for Indiana bats. Such a nice area too. I mean, they're right on the river. I mean, it's just perfect. I mean, I'm sure they're very happy there. Mm -hmm.